So basically, I want to say this. Just mentioning Harry Kane there. And mentioning Snickers. Who would have thought Harry Kane and Snickers would be a topic of conversation? But bear with me on this. You're about to learn something. All we've heard for the last couple of years as Harry Kane enters the final years of his contracts at Tottenham is, will he leave Tottenham to go abroad and miss out on the chance of breaking Alan Shearer's all-time Premier League goal-scoring record? And I've had a waking... I've had, I've had a moment today where I woke up because I was like... But I remember the Premier League when it was called Division 1. It's just a rebrand. Snickers... The chocolate with, with caramel and nuts in it used to be called Marathon. I preferred the name Marathon. It was the same thing with a different wrapper. Man United shirt that's got Team Viewer on it used to have Chevrolet on it. It's still a Man United shirt. The Premier League is still Division 1. It's the, it's the number one league in, the, in, in England. Just because they rebadged it, it's still the top league in England. Nothing's different. It's still the best 20 or 18 or 22 teams in England. So Division 1, football didn't start in 1992. It's been going on for over 100 years. The Division 1 is the Premier League. So why does Alan Shearer get classed as the all-time scorer? Because he, because he scored in the Premier League. Like, are we completely disrespectful? Do Liverpool's European Cups not count before 92? Do Liverpool's Premier League uh, Division 1 titles not count before 1992? You know, does the Huddersfield's titles not count? It's ridiculous. My point is, Emil, and I'm getting to my point. My point is, Jimmy Greaves scored 357 goals in 516 games. Alan Shearer scored 283 goals in 559 games. So Shearer scored less goals in more games than Jimmy Greaves. And Jimmy Greaves played in the top division in, in England. Dixie Dean, 310 goals. Gordon Hodgson, 287 goals. Alan Shearer is actually fourth, fourth on the all-time goal scoring list. But we live in a world now where nobody talks about Jimmy Greaves or Dixie Dean because... We've suddenly decided that football only existed when the Premier League was in this. But, but it's, it's the same. It's just a rebadge. It's just a new spot. It's a sponsor. It's just a renaming of the top league in England. Why are we falling for this shit? And I was down the pub talking about this. And everybody agreed with me. I mean, I could have had about 20 pints. Because everybody was like, he makes a good point. And I was like, hold on a minute. Don't pat me on the back. Don't get me another drink. I've got to go live in a minute. But my point was, I've only just realised it as well. This is how dangerous media can be. Oh, can Kane break Shearer's record? Who gives a shit about Shearer's record? So we're going we're gonna to forget nearly 100 years of the top division's history because football only started in 1992. Oh, but he's the Premier League top scorer record. So we're just going to bin off Liverpool and Man United and Arsenal's other titles. It's, a, it's the biggest load of shit I've ever heard and we need to call it out. This whole Alan Shearer, Harry Kane thing is a load of shite. Pre the Premier League is just Division 1 with a different name. Jimmy Greaves is the top scorer of all time. And he's dead. Why is he, you know, wh wh why is that not mentioned? Oh, because that was the olden days. Oh, so George Best doesn't matter anymore. Kenny Dalglish doesn't matter anymore. It's o Football only exists in this country from 1992. And what's the Premier League? It's just a mercenary money rebadging of football. Fuck it. No, I'm not. I think it's a joke. Call it out. I'm glad that a lot of people agree with me on the Jimmy Graves, Alan Shearer thing. You know, I, I just think it's one of the most illogical things I've ever heard. That, that Kane's going to break Shearer's record. You, you're just a commercial twat. If you think that that's the record, you're a commercialised twat. So the Premier League's all that matters now. It's the same bloody league. It's, it's basically marathon that's been turned to Snickers. For, people forget players like Jimmy Greaves and George Best exist, existed. It's disgusting, Josh. It's absolutely disgusting. 
Can't count England's World Cup now. It happened before 1992. Exactly, Game Central. Exactly. Um, well, all I'm going to say is we're already starting a movement. Goldbridge saves football. Um, that's going to be something we're going to look at. But uh, we're starting a movement here. We will not be indoctrinated by commercialization of football. The Premier League is literally the Div Division One. It's the same thing. So why does Shearer? And you know what? Shearer embraces it like like he's special. Oh, I'm the top scorer of all time. I'd be embarrassed. I'd have actually put a statement out and said, "But I'm not the top scorer of all time," because the Premier League is is the same as Division One, and Jimmy Greaves is the top scorer of all time. But he embraces it. He's like, oh, it's my record. It's my record. Premier League's all-time top goal scorer. It's like, you know, it's you know what it's like. It's like see, it's, it's like being the Champions League top scorer of all time. So we're ignoring the European Cup before the Champions League. No, no, we're not. Um, um, you're absolutely right, Mark. We sing twenty times, twenty times, counting all our titles before the Premier League might drop. Jermaine. I don't even blame people who don't get this. I only woke up today. It's, you know what? I feel really disappointed in myself when you know I get manipulated by the media. And I have been manipulated by the media on that. This whole sheer a top scorer thing is bollocks. It's absolute bollocks. And I've been guilty of it as much as anybody. But I woke up today 